Hi everyone. Look, crap everywhere. Uh, yeah. Things are getting uh, a bit messy, shall we say? They haven't cleaned this up, have they? And so we're going to walk down towards town now. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just hope everybody's having a great day. And I just hope that um, things are okay. Me? I'm not so bad. Um, just went to B&M today. Got some bleach and everything for the house. And some soap and stuff. But we forgot to get bog roll. Yeah. It's just one of those things, isn't it? So I'm just walking down towards town now. And uh, we'll see what happens. It's like I said in my last video. Um, Salford is going to be doing a redoing of the town centre, well city centre and there's going to be major works there and they're going to put this new town centre, city centre sorry right next to Media City so yeah it's going to be quite a big project because I've got a feeling that there's going to, there's going to be housing put in this uh, in this and the mayor of Salford is actually backing it and his name's Phil can't remember his last name but yeah it goes to show doesn't it how well Salford is doing and they're also uh, doing something with the University of Salford. I think they're putting another. I think the. I think it's to do with media arts, media um, in there, and they're talking about putting more shop in there but to be truthful really retail is basically here and all there um, but if they want to put more retail there good for them but uh, it goes to show doesn't it that Blackburn's Blackburn's housing plan is and I'm going to say it is pretty shite really and uh, yeah and as I know of there's going to be billions and billions and billions of pounds 
of the investment being put into Salford because Salford is basically getting it right on what it's doing and they're using brown space they're using brown spaces to do it all unlike Blackburn god that's an absolute if you can see what uh, my see, you know if you can see some of the stuff that is uh, up on my channel it goes to show how bad Blackburn is if I was if I was to, uh, you know, if I was asked, would I live in, would I, you know, you know, would I uh, come and live in Blackburn? My truthful answer would be no. Because because they're not they're not uh, they're not doing that I was glad that South End on Sea got it I'm glad because that MP sacrificed his life and uh, yeah the MP sacrificed, you know it was bad news for the town but he'll always be remembered you know and uh, and the other thing is if you're a shall we say motorist you live in if you live in Blackburn and you're a motorist you're driving one of the one of the one of the dangerous towns in the UK yeah and the, another thing is Blackburn came 10 10 in one of the places in you know one of the places that is one of the crappiest towns in England <clears throat> yeah it's one of the crappiest towns in England and it basically moving up moving up of the um, up the um, charts for that you know and it's just one of those things I suppose I'm walking towards town now and uh, we'll see what happens and for employment as for a person like myself 
and persons like myself employment is basically crap Blackburn with Darwin have well they outsource that for people with illnesses and disabilities but the major problem is with it their placements are absolute crap you know you get more out of stuff if you do there you go place hasn't been cleaned up loads of twigs and stuff and branches have dropped off you'd come and clean that up the other thing is when you're walking down here right if Oh, it's a tree so far. Black birds. One for Sarah, two for Joy, three for a girl. <laughs> yeah. So, what did I say? There's no protection for pedestrians. None. Imagine if, uh, imagine if a car decided he wanted to wipe out a few pedestrians. You know, because it could happen. You know, that's what would, that's what could happen and people wouldn't like the outcome of that so we'll see what happens and uh, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other, ain't it? St. Wilfrid's are having a building built, which I'm glad that uh, some investment in education is being done which is pretty good background colours so I was thinking of going but it's a wait and see situation Just have to wait and see what happens here. See if I can get get across. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. So go for it. We'll go for it. Why not? We'll go for it. Why not? And I just thought, <laughs> I shouldn't have really done that, but, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. And if anything does happen, I've got it on camera anyway. Yeah.
just wait now and see what see what the cross what's happening at the crossing here and uh, I'll just wait and see I'm going to try and fill the phone up today of everything it's not worth it if you get splattered well you know it's not good I did it once but I won't do it again Up. And I might go over to Santander and do a draw there, so we'll see what's uh, happening. And uh, we'll see what's happening. But the problem, major problem I do have is filming in the mile. I'm going to have to one of these days turn, turn up and Oh, it's the Mayor of Blackburn. Your town's a crappy town. It really is. It looks like they're starting to build something at the bottom. Yeah, so... So far, so far, Salford has had um, so well, Salford is basically going to have a pro. Well, if it's a rough estimate, 80 billion. Eighty billion. That's a lot of money. In total development grants. How many of that is foreign money? Russian and other stuff. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll wait and see what happens. I feel sorry for the Ukrainians. That's still going on. Well, the other thing is, we should have paid our debts sooner rather than later to every, to every country that we are. And it is about time that other countries that owe us because there are countries that do all Britain outstanding um, 
balances, shall we say. And uh, yeah. Enough said about that. I will be putting this video up very shortly. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. So, right on the curve. There you is, there you is that as a place. Well, here we go. That's a Volvo. Don't know what it's doing there, because there are no vehicles meant. Oh! Police vehicle, is it? What is it? No, it's not. Good. What is it? It's a council vehicle. Maintenance vehicle. It's a maintenance vehicle. So, let's we'll see what happens. They're doing the lamp and security we'll see what uh, the state of play is here and uh, last time when I came here my money I think my money had gone down a bit so we'll see what happens so I'm gonna say bye for now